Welcome back to Games Revealed. I'm James Nelson Brink, and we are one. Today, I want to talk about or show you how to set up a custom boot video. And that is at the beginning of the device, you can control at least portion of how those visuals will happen. Now, it won't replace the whole boot sequence, which is a little disappointing, but it still is a fun little trick. And if you love doing fun things with your deck, you're going to love this video. And uh, yes, it's it is actually really fun. And, and the reason I've been thinking about doing this video for a while, but the reason I did this one recently is because there's a future Rama version of it. And I love it so much. And so and I think you will too. And I'll show you how to do some other uh, versions of the videos or at least uh, explain how you can go about doing it. So before we talk about it any further, make sure to like, subscribe, bash that bell with your crowbar. Now, let's get into it. Okay, before we go over to the Steam Deck and I show you how to do this because it's really simple, honestly, it's it really is going to take you no time at all. I want to just double make sure that you know where to find everything that's going to be in this video. It's going to be in the description below. You can expand it and you'll see some URLs and some code in there. And so it really is going to be as simple as a one line, but I want to show you how to do custom and, and additional videos because that part, it takes a little bit more work. And so we're going to explain that a little bit in this video, but for the most part, I'm going to just show you like just the easiest way um, because the script I made. And that being said, this is not coming just from me. This is off the backs of giants in the sense of um, some of these techniques were from other people on Reddit. And this video, the Futurama video specifically, is done by Derp and Herbs and did a, a, an amazing job. I love the video. I want to make sure credit to them. And I'm going to have just a link to the, all the stuff they've been doing because there are more videos than just the Futurama and Seinfeld. And so there's just, there's, you, you can make your own. That's the cool thing about all this. And maybe we'll make this a fun thing from here on out. Well, let's but. go over to the Steam Deck now. I have written a couple of scripts, which essentially just automates a lot of the process for you. So you really only have to run one command in the, the console, which is coming from Bunny Strike, which is my base company, like Games Revealed falls under it. My game that I'm working on falls under it. And the reason why this is important is that you don't want to run scripts that you cannot go and see and, and analyze. Um, I This is trusted for me. That's another reason why I took some of the other uh, pieces and put them all here so that they're readily available to everyone and that I can make sure I control the scripts and they don't get modified and become malicious. So they are very simple. If you know enough about coding, you can go to these this URL that will be in the description below and analyze for yourself. So um, I, I just definitely want to preface, like if you see some of the commands like this curl one, be careful running that because these uh, shell scripts can be malicious sometimes. Um, in this case, it's not. I'm the one that uh, built it. So uh, if you want to trust me, you can trust me. You can also see the code. I openly have the code there. So to install Futurama, you just run this command in console. If you want to install Seinfeld, you run this uh, second command right here. And then if you want to do a custom one, you can. You need to create a video. So you just grab yourself a video, you, or wherever it is. You go to this website upload it, and then you're going to get a WebM, which is important. It's a file format, and you, it has to be WebM. Once you're done getting that um, and it's downloaded, you're going to want to rename it to deck underscore startup dot WebM, and then in this, it, you're going to, if this is all, all in the deck and everything, you're going to want to make sure you're in the same directory as that deck startup dot WebM, and then you're going to run this curl command in that same directory, which would be, let's say you did it all on downloads. You'd want to make sure you're in downloads. We'd go over to and make sure we change directory, which is CD, which is just changing the folder where you're at um, and make sure you're in downloads if that's where that file is. And then you can run that command in the same file. That's how that works. Um, as for custom. So if you're trying to make your own uh, video or if you found a bunch of other ones, this should work. Now, if it doesn't, let me know in the comments below. And I'm also going, I have a website I'm working on. I'm going to be having a whole article, a whole uh, section for this there on the website to do additional boots uh, videos and some other stuff there. So that will also be in the description eventually. It's not going to be right now as I'm still working on it. It's another one of my projects that's taken a while. So we're going to go ahead and command, uh, copy this command, which if you're on the deck, if you go to this website 
or just if you're watching the video on the deck, you should be able to go to the description, copy this line, and you're going to know if it's Futurama because it will have Futurama in the name. If you see Seinfeld, it will have Seinfeld in the name, um, and then, you know, custom and thus forth. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and copy this. If you do left press down, you're going to get the option menu. You can hit copy and then you can go into your console. You can open up a console. It doesn't matter where you're at actually because the script, I mean, I recommend doing it in downloads, but yeah, the script is designed to clean itself up too. So it essentially will download all the files, install them, replace some files and then um, and uninstall itself essentially or delete itself. And so uh, once we're in the console, you can press paste hit enter it's going to run it's going to download a couple of files from this repository and then yeah yeah as long as you see what you kind of see here nothing went wrong but there are a couple of things that could go wrong in the future with future steam deck updates this library.css could become bigger and it could mess things up the way i built it though it should shouldn't matter too much but it could potentially break it in the future if it does let me know in the comments below I tried to make this as simple as possible. And so as long as people are letting me know, and maybe I can modify scripts uh, to better facilitate everyone here. So this really is about as easy as it should be. Just a one-liner in the console. Once that's done, how you uh, check to make sure it worked is that all you have to do is go and restart your deck. Now, after doing this, it can take a second for the deck to reload and restart and all that. Bad. It will eventually come into a screen like this with the Steam Deck icon. And then you're going to see my screen flash a few times because I'm using a capture card. But we're going to eventually see the beautiful, beautiful screen that I just love so much. This has just made my day. It's so beautiful. You'll know it when you see it. Sometimes when you modify... Okay. There you go. So that was the boot, the start of it. Um, usually while the device is booting up, it will play for how long it needs to, that boot sequence. And you have yourself a custom boot sequence. And it's just fun. It's just fun to add these little niceties, customize our deck. It's the simplest video tutorial guide, whatever it is that I've ever done. Now, if you want me to dive further into custom videos and custom uh, just whatever that is, I'll do another video. I just want to know that it's needed. Um, I did show you how you could kind of do it yourself and with the script, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm willing to do another video. I just want to, like, this is a good first start. So let me know in the comments below if you like this guide, this tutorial. If you like me simplifying these steps, I'm going to try to do it with some of my other guides that I've done in the past and also some future guides. It is taking me a little bit of time to, to kind of get this into a way and get it um, easily just standardized, I guess, um, for me. And so I should be getting more and more videos going as I get my website up um, further and have more resources there. So if things change, you can use that as a guide and I don't have to keep on redoing videos. And hopefully we can just kind of get to a nice, happy place where everything just kind of works for you and we'll have an awesome, good time on the deck. So once again, let me know in the comments below. I want to know, was this helpful? Was this useful? Do you like this? Do you like the Futurama one? I sure do. It's really awesome. I love that little Half-Life thing at the bottom. You might have to go, back into the video and watch that um also what kind of boot sequence is your perfect boot sequence for your steam deck what would you want what's your dream to boot your deck up and see i want to know thank you guys for watching check out all the other goodies in the description below i have uh recommended accessories and other stuff um just a note they are uh, affiliate linked and so i do get a cut back but it, it does help me continue making these tutorials and guides and all that. I also have new merch. So check out that code below. It's new merch is the promo code. You'll get 20% off. Thank you guys for watching. Check out my other videos and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. Later.